Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Kevin Coleman. How are you? I am in Dallas, Texas, one of your favorite places, I heard. Uh, Dallas is one of my favorite places. The whole state of Texas is one of my favorite places. And so you're lucky to be at the barbecue capital of the world. Well, I'm going to give you a confession, Kevin, on the Valder BB show, and I want my audience to hear this. I am just taking grilling lessons living in Texas, okay? So I'm your perfect candidate. Well, that's candidate. okay, because everybody, like in Chicago, you need a guy. Now you got me. You got a guy. So anytime you need help, you know I'm always here for that. All right, then. You're here to tell us about the, uh, your, your head, first year, Weber's head grill master, and I can't think of anyone better to talk about at this time, I decided during the uh, stay at home, shut it at home, I'd learn some new skills and grilling is one of those. I want to fire my audience up. What do you have for us? So four tips on cooking great barbecue, right? My four pillars. One, get a good grill. Weber's are the best scientifically designed so it creates the best barbecue. Then you need good meat, good proteins, vegetables. Then you need good seasoning and Weber's seasonings are scientifically designed for the grill, right? To pop bring out more flavor. And then finally is your methodology on how to grill things better. So if you can do all those four things, you're going to be successful in the grill and you will be a grill master in no time. All right then. Now that fire is kind of scary out there, Kevin. I have a gas or electric stove. So now I'm dealing with real propane heat. A little bit scary. Got any tips on that? I wouldn't say it's scary. What's scary is if you're cooking at too high a temperatures, it's going to burn your food. And so one of those things I'm sure you might have had, I've had before, dried out chicken breast. We don't want to do that anymore. So what chicken breast is, is it's <laughs> thick on one side, it's thin on the other. You want to pound that down, use a little bit of olive oil, and then we finish it with our kick and chicken seasoning. It's got some heat to it and some savory flavors. It goes on the grill at 425 to 450 degrees for five or six minutes a side. And so that Follow that methodology, follow those tips, and you will have the best chicken breast you've ever grilled before. All right, then. I've got this Facebook question, Kevin, I'm going to take. They say when they, they throw, did throw grilling parties, they would have different ages. They would have adults and kids. How do you season the food appropriately for both groups? I thought that was a good question. Oh, my gosh. So that's a great question. So my daughters are five and seven, and they love barbecuing with dad. And the first thing that I do when I buy seasoning is I allow them to taste it. And so if you're going to be grilling things, what's nice is if you're having kids over, have them taste the seasonings before you use them, because that will give you an idea if they're going to like them or not. And so one of those things is like the gourmet burger seasoning has got some sweetness to it, which kids love. The garlic parmesan uh, seasoning is great for dusting over corn and in butter. And so allowing the kids to taste it before you actually put it on food is a great tip and allows them to be more part of the process because they can pick the specific seasonings they like, which helps them eat better. All right. My next one comes off of Instagram. They want to know they're going to buy a grill for upcoming Memorial Day. They love a Weber, but they don't know which one to buy. Well, there's a ton of them out there. And so the first thing that people look at when buying a grill is the capacity, how large it is, right? And so if you're going to be cooking for X amount of people or cooking more times because we're staying at home a little bit more now, you might want to go with a larger grill because you're going to be cooking more food. And so that's usually the first thing. And then you go into the features and the benefits of it, side burners and sear stations and smoker boxes. But usually like 70 to 80% of the time, the capacity, the size of the amount of cooking space is the number one thing people look at for buying a grill. All right. Any more grilling tips for us? I feel a little more confident already just speaking with you, Kevin. Well, you know, you want to make sure that you're seasoning food the, the correct way. Like burgers are a great thing. You want to make sure you're seasoning the inside of the burger and the outside. And so I'll use a bowl. I'll use a spoon. I'll add my gourmet burger seasoning to the bowl and I'll mix it with a spoon because if you use your hands to mix all the ingredients in, what happens is it activates the proteins and the fats and the burgers will fall apart on the grill. And we don't want you to do that. And so we want to season the inside, season the outside. And then also it's my three tips, my, my three T's. Temperature, time, technique. No matter what you're grilling, you need to know the temperature it's going to be on, the time it's going to be on your grill, and then it's also going to be is it direct or indirect. And so if you can follow those three T's, follow the four pillars, you're guaranteed to be a grill master in no time. All right, Kevin, we talked about the Weber seasoning. Where are they sold? So if you go to WeberSeasonings.com, you can find 
Where they're going to be sold, there's a store locator, which is fantastic. Really easy to find exactly where they're going to be located, where you guys are living. And the fun part is there's so many of them that it allows you really to have fun. So you would think Chicago steak, although it has some minced garlic and some garlic powder to it, it goes great on the top of a burger. And so that's where when we go back to the kids thing, it's great to taste them before you grill because that way you know exactly what you think you're going to enjoy them on and you can spread the seasonings around to almost anything that you're going to be grilling. Kevin Coleman, you have been a lifesaver here, especially in Dallas, Texas. I want to thank you for being on the Valder BB Show. Any place online you want to give some more amazing tips? So WeberSeasonings.com, you go to Weber Seasonings uh, on Instagram. You can follow Kevin underscore Coleman on Instagram. We're here to provide you great grilling knowledge, great tips and tricks in order to up your grilling game and impress your family and your friends, especially this weekend with Memorial Day coming up. We want everybody to be safe, but we also want them to grill something special. All right. Well, since I'm in the barbecue game, I'm going to follow you, Kevin, and I want you guys to follow Kevin also. He gave us some great information. Have a happy Memorial Day and be well, Kevin. You too. Thank you so much for having us on. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe host of the Valder BB Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon and get started living life divinely. <music>